Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Denver Broncos. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. It's all handed over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Denver Broncos, taking on the NFC champions, the Washington Redskins. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call it the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. It's the AFL NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold and think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today and with the whole world watching at the end of this game at the end of tonight one of these two sides they get to etch their name in NFL immortality no doubt about it they hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league the Lombardi Trophy And here we go, the first Super Bowl of the 30s. Super Bowl 64 is underway. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Hey, let go. Throwing on first down. Boom. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down now, it's Hicks. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Off play action. Boom. He's got his man on the crossing route. That's good for 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. From the gun, Booth flush to his right. 
It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. The offensive starters now for the Broncos. And a big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs? Because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. On second down, it's Hicks. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, and you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Hey, exit. Start. On first and ten. Boom. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. This is caught. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry mean and confident. They think that no one can block them. It's been a seven play opening drive and this is third and short. Hey, hey, Wood. Operating from the gun. Boom. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And his kick is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 in. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes the Redskins' offense now onto the field. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give a better chance to lead the team to wins. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Second and six. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Let's go, fifteen Ronnie, fifteen Ronnie. Let's go, D tighten up. Let's go, D tighten up. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the thirty-nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that block. Now a man open down the middle of the field. 
This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Gonna give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. And they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Looked like they picked a heck of a time to run the counter. And we've been saying that in this great game of football probably since we started playing. Anytime you get guys thinking you're going to go one way and you hit back the opposite side, oh, it's a great chance. It can turn into the type of play we just saw there, a big gainer. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, hey, you guys going to come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, I to didn't want offer it. Mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Back to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. And his kick here is good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh? You like Come that? On. What does that mean, break up? Just because you break chestnuts? I I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. So the Broncos coming out now. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Throwing to start the drive. Booth looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bowman. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, Booth. Gonna throw right side here, complete. Now the Broncos are gonna call the first of their timeouts, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Boom. Flushed out right. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Check, 
26, check 26, check, check. Ready, ready. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Second and nine now. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with 8 seconds remaining here in the first half. The Redskins on third down putting an extra man here in the secondary. Hey, Delta. but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much. But it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a Let's touchback, go. and it Let's comes go. out to the 25 yard line. And the Redskins retake the field for drive number two. And yeah, with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Well, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give the Redskins 13 there and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. He'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. 
And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that's a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. They'll run on first down. Kendall. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Sometimes you get just a little over eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack, take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. They actually used their aggressiveness against them on that one and hit them big. Absolutely. Had them pinned on the two. Not anymore. Back to throw. Boom. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find Metcalf. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. You can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Redskins are going to retake the lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. This fielded at the two. 
And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Complete to Jones. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally down at the 36-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Operating from the gun. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. And it's caught. And he's brought down. The result of first down as the quick slant gets him 14. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. It's their quarterback taking it in. And the Broncos have once again taken the lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. 
Now this throw caught left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. He'll look to throw. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Come on, set. 18, Gator. to throw that's complete right around the eight and he gets halfway home from the 10 to the five on a pickup of five now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game second and five being chased out left and he's going to fight him for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Involved goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Looking to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Redskins going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. And it's incomplete. So now only seven seconds remain. Ready, ready. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts Two. remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And the Lombardi Trophy goes west, and it goes to the Denver Broncos, your Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.